Hey all, welcome to Real Little Britain. I'm Blackie Spurry and here it's time for another beer tonight. It's from the Time and Tide Brewing Company and it is their Callista IPA. It's brewed with speci batch specific hops at 6.1% ABV. Now look at this. Folks, I'm a massive fan of their beers. I've had uh, three beers now and they've all been very, very good. The first two were absolutely stunning. Oh my good God. Uh, I like the cans. I like the labels. They're very, very... Um, they're just different. They're, it reminds me a bit like, um, you know, the brew dog uh, bottles. They're like kind of etched in. Yeah, that's them. But look, very simplistic, but very eye catching as well. Um, again, pressure test in the can. This beer seems to be well uh, carbonated because there's not much pinch to it. So let's crack this bottle open and see exactly what it's like. Cheers. So this beer has been chilled for about two hours. Yeah, it's open with a lovely hiss. And it is pouring with medium carbonation and it's pouring a lovely deep orange colour. Quite hazy. All in. It's a uh, one finger. I wouldn't be surprised that it's hazy because it is described as a uh, it's a so it's brewed with uh, batch specific hops. It's an IPA, but a lot of IPAs are over hopped anyway. Which are a nice thing, um, but it looks absolutely stunning, folks. Look at that. Well, the first thing you get is you get this lovely, lovely uh, maltiness to it. Definitely Maris Otter. You get the, a light wheat note, which is very much like a uh, crumbled wheat bix. Oh, it smells absolutely gorgeous. Now, it reminds me of a beer I brewed, which had Equinox hops in it. Yeah, I think it was um, Blackie's Brewery's Spring Four Paleo. It was a Paleo brewed to uh, commemorate uh, British Summertime. So when the clocks move forward, so Spring Forward, uh, it was a 5.5%. And Equinox hops were used. There was about 200 grams put into dry hop on a 20 kilometer. And you're getting that kind of quite unique characteristic to it. It's uh, quite citrusy. Light bit of grapefruit. But you're also getting a light grass in this too. Folks, we're going to go straight in with the taste. Cheers. Oh. Oh my good god. I can say the first thing is there's Maris Otter Malt in this. And it's nice. Because Maris Otter is quite a crisp uh, malt when it's um, when it's um, steeped at about 66, between 66 and 68 degrees. Um, and it leaves that kind of uh, big, uh, kind of malty backbone to the beer. You're also getting a little bit of wheat there. Which is leaving quite a dryness uh, to the beer. But it's also probably helping in the lacing and uh, the head of the beer. Then you're picking up light grapefruit notes. You're picking up a lovely grassy lemoniness, um, which is quite partial of um, Vic Secret uh, malts and actually, or Vic Secret um, hops. And Hopcraft Brewery are, are a very, very uh, big brewery who use Vic Secret quite a lot. And actually, it's the first time that I ever experienced that hop. And this beer has got it. It's jam packed with it, actually. I wouldn't be surprised if it's used. Um, late in the boil uh, or either flame out and uh, conditioned in uh, dry hopping but with Equinox as well very very good yeast wise it's a, it's like a mixture of USO 5 and Safalo 4 which is strange because you get that kind of sharpness, but you also get that breadiness as well. So you get the crisp finish. This, for me, is actually a very nice IPA. And it definitely is an IPA. You get the body on the beer. Again, it's 6.1%. Um, the beer actually drinks its strength. Um, it's very, very good. I think what makes this beer, out of everything, has to be the Equinox Hops. 
Um, Equinox uh, is very, very nice. It's very, very different. It's unique. Um, Vic Sacred is a good hop and it's lovely when it's dry hopped. But Equinox in latent boil or in flame out and uh, add it to um, dry hop leaves this lovely, lovely uh, floral note. Also leaves a deep uh, citrus kind of uh, bitterness to the beer without it actually adding a lot of bitterness to it, if that makes sense. Um, but gives it a lot of... Um, Gives it a lot of nose and a lot of flavour. Uh, I remember using Equ Equinox uh, a couple of years ago in my, um, as I said earlier, my um, uh, Spring Forward uh, Pale Ale. Um, and it was stunning. And actually, this is what this beer has. My one was a 4.5. I think it was 4.5%, 5%. Uh, but this one's 6.5. And, and it's got everything a beer needs. Uh, very, very good. I am very, very impressed. I would drink this again. I would love to try it in cask, if uh, time and tide do it on cask, uh, or even in key keg. It, it's a nice beer. I would actually like to see this beer also drop clear, because I reckon it would. A bit more time to condition, especially in a cask. Uh, so like, what's the finish like? So the finish is malty. It's got a solid backbone for 6.5%. And it's got these wonderful citrus fruits, and it's also got that, also got that lovely kind of like wheat note, which leads to uh, quite a dry bitterness. But with the malts uh, and the hops, they all complement each other, and you also get this kind of kind of wonderful, you know, you get this wonderful Vic Secret kind of earthiness and uh, Equinox fruitiness uh, bitterness to the beer. So what do I give? Time Tide Brewing Company for their uh, Kalista IPA coming in at 6.5% or 6.5% 6.1% folks this to me it's a very very good beer I would love to see it I actually would love to see it drop clear because I reckon it could do if it was cold crashed <laughs> but for me this has to be an 8 out of 10 8 out of 10 8 out of 10 Folks, that's really the Britain doing a review on Time and Tide Brewing Company's uh, Kalista IPA, brewed with uh, batch specific hops at 6.1% EPA. Cheers, Slamakara.